So interest has become very attractive for men and women of this century because of her appeal to the spirituality of the so-called little way. Because not all of us can be grand and great, that is why the invitation of the spirituality of the little way can be very attractive for ordinary little people. There are some people who interpret the spirituality of the little way as putting much love into picking up a needle or doing the laundry or washing the plates. It is true, but in fairness to St. Therese, that is not the spirituality of the little way. Because she would not be a doctor of the church if the only thing she taught us was to do little things. The spirituality of the little way is something greater than little things. So three words to remember the spirituality of the little way. The first word is little. But little does not refer to actions. Little does not refer to works. Little refers to persons. In other words, the little way demands that we look at ourselves as little. In other words, the key to the little way is humility. Kasi po, kapag gumagawa nga tayo ng maliliit na bagay, ng malaking pagmamahal, pero pinagyayabang mo naman yung maliliit na bagay na yon. That is not the little way. Because the little way, I say it again, is not about little works. It is about, it's not about little deeds. It is about the littleness of people. To consider yourself small and to consider yourselves smaller than the others. Undeserving, unworthy, so little that we can be ignored. That is the meaning of little. It is not about actions, but the reality of our littleness as human beings. The second word about the spirituality of the little way, after littleness, is anonymity. Anonymity is being hidden. Because St. Therese reminds us of the Bible prescription that do good deeds hidden so that your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. So the spirituality of the little way is about anonymity. It is about being hidden. It is about being unknown. Now, you may be a follower of the spirituality of the little way, but what about doing good deeds unknown, doing good deeds in anonymity. Eh, hindi naman ganun ang nangyayari sa atin. Dahil naimbento ang Facebook, naimbento ang Twitter, naimbento ang Instagram, nasunog lang yung pandesal mo, ipopost mo na sa Facebook. Natuto ka lang mag-gisa ng munggo, nasa Twitter na, nasa Instagram na. Is that the spirituality of the little way? Very far from it. The spirituality of the little way is about being hidden, being anonymous, and only God knows the little that you do. Only God knows. Christ, after the resurrection, always worked hidden. That is why Mary Magdalene thought he was a gardener. That is why the disciples of Emmaus thought that he was the most ignorant stranger in Jerusalem that weekend. He was hidden, and in that hiddenness, he teaches us the power of greatness. So that your Father, who sees what is hidden, will be your reward. First word, littleness. Not about works, 
but about you as a person. Anonymity, so that only God knows what you're doing. Not even your husband, not even your wife, not your parents, not your children, not your friends, not even your soulmates, that we are able to do little things hidden so that no one in the world recognizes us and then our reward in heaven will be great. The third word for the spirituality of the little way is motivation. So three words, littleness, anonymity, and motivation. What is the motivation of being hidden? What is the motivation of being little and being humble? Here, San Francisco of Fatima, to whom Our Lady appeared, and St. Therese have something in common. What is it? Both of them said, I want to console Jesus. St. Therese saw the bloodied face of Jesus. And she said, I want to dry his face. Saint Francisco, San Francisco of Fatima saw the tears of Jesus and San Francisco said, I want to stay in the chapel because I want to wipe the tears of Jesus. So what is the motivation? You might say, God does not need consolation, but believe me, the spirituality of the little way simply says, I want to wipe the face of Jesus. I want to wipe the blood on his face. I want to wipe the tears of his eyes. And I will be hidden, and I will be humble, and I will not insist on my good name. I will not protect my reputation. I will stay little and I will be willing to be ignored, to be taken for granted, to be calumniated, to be lied to, to be unappreciated, to be suspected. Because in doing this, I will be able to wipe the face of Jesus, dry his tears, and dry the blood on his face. That is the spirituality of the little way. It is our littleness as persons. It is the anonymity of our deeds. And our only motivation is not even to go to heaven. Our only motivation is to wipe the tears of Jesus to dry his face. If you are still in the mode of wanting to go to heaven, I will tell you one dialogue between her sister and Therese as a, as a child. Therese was introduced to the powers, of, to the beauty of heaven, but also introduced to the ugliness of hell. And after the catechism about hell and the fire, and about the beauty and the feasting of heaven, Saint Therese said, in that case, I want to go to hell. And Celine asked, Why do you want to go to hell? And Therese answered, So that in hell, there will be at least one soul to love God. I want to go to hell because nobody loves God there. And when I go to hell, there will be at least one soul to love God in hell. It is not about rewards. It is not even about life everlasting. It is about the intensity of her love. I want to dry the face of Jesus. I want to dry the blood on his face. I want to wipe his tears. And I will do everything including going to hell, so that in hell, one soul will love the Lord. 
littleness, anonymity, and motivation. May we become saints together and may Saint Therese be our leader.